and welcome to Cooking with Angela. And today I make you Italian, authentic Italian, Bolognese. So if you follow me to the stove, I show you how to make the Bolognese. So what we need on high heat, we need to add some oil, about a tablespoon of oil to a pan. Then we need to add about 500 grams of minced beef. So we want to fry that oh, and brown it and, and get rid of all the lumps. When it's the sky like a big pizza pie at the morning. When the moon hits the sky like a big pizza pie at the morning. So now that the meat has browned and all the lumps have gone, we need to add our vegetables. So on here we have one large onion about five mushrooms diced. We have one carrot diced, one stick of celery, and half a capsicum. So that's all gonna go in here, and we're gonna saute that off for approximately two to three minutes. I know a song for you. What's the matter you? Hey, why you look so sad? It's a not so bad. It's a not so bad. So shut up your face. So shut up your face. Now that we've sauteed the vegetables for about two, three minutes, we're going to add our remaining ingredients. So we've got some red wine. We need approximately a cup. Two tins of crushed tomatoes. There's one. It's two. We need two tablespoons of tomato paste. One, two. Teaspoon of garlic. Some salt. Oh, that was pepper and salt. And give that a good mix. We're also going to add the good old forget a stock, approximately a heaped teaspoon, and give that another mix. And then we're going to put that on, we're going to decrease the temperature. Uh, to about half and we're going to simmer that for approximately an hour and a half. People have asked me, Ange, what the hell is this Vegeta stock that you've been using? This is the all-time best stock. Mwah! I love it. I live it. I put it on everything. If you haven't got Vegeta stock, which is just a plain vegetable stock, you can use vegetable stock or beef stock to whatever dish. So for this dish, you could use beef stock if you haven't got Vegeta. But trust me, this is like liquid gold. It's been an hour and a half and we've finished simmering our sauce. So we're gonna chuck in a cup of chopped up parsley. Oh, it's about half a cup. Beautiful, stir that in. And then we'll garnish our We'll put it on our spaghetti and garnish our plate. Okay, so now the bolognese is ready to serve. So all we need is a couple of big spoons of bolognese sauce on top of your spaghetti. And then add a few bits of shaved parmesan on top. And then the last thing is a bit of parsley sensational. Doesn't that look beautiful? Doesn't that look beautiful? Mmm. That looks really beautiful. Only if you could try that right now. Mm -hmm. 
It is so good. I just want to sip in it. Go on.